blog called Agarovsky Lifestyle where I share simple life hacks and easy recipes. <sighs> Hot. <laughs> and grill season in Berlin has started and people like to invite spontaneously for grill parties where you want to contribute as well. And this is why I love letters. Uh, Roman lettuce and you can do so much out of it and today I'm going to share with you my Roman lettuce two in one recipes for the grill season. So if you're gonna use two Roman lettuce pieces, salads, heads, please write me in the comment below how do you say that correctly. <laughs> so if you're gonna use two of those you're gonna make about four people happy on your grill. So we need two of them for the grill and for the salad. And for the grill we're gonna need a marinade um, out of olive oil, a little bit of salt, two cloves of chopped garlic and on top a little bit of parmesan which will nicely melt into the salad. For the salad itself I like to add some refreshing uh, vegetables with a lot of water which would be cucumber, tomatoes, red onion uh, which gives a little bit of a spicy uh, addition and uh, is also very crunchy. Uh, to make it more creamy I like to add um, avocado and some fresh parsley, which will go perfectly with the lemon dressing. So for the lemon dressing you need obviously olive oil, again a little bit of salt and pepper if you like and half of that lemon. So let's get started. So let's prepare the Roman lettuce for the grill and the salad. Uh, first I'm gonna take off those big leaves, see this one was already not connected, um, which are coming out a little bit. Um, they are also more, yeah, uh, dark, usually more stronger and bitter in the taste. I'm taking a few of them out. Make them small. Now I'm going to cut around one fourth of the salad here in front, this, and add it as well to the salad bowl. Now we have two pieces for the grill and the base for the salad. Now let's prepare the Roman lettuce for the grill. So first I'm gonna chop off the root here, which, the ends, which are not twisting that good and a little bit brownish. And now, depending on the size, I'm going to cut it into two or four pieces. Great, now I'm going to pack them into aluminium foil and to some small packages which keep the heat during the grill's time um, inside and the juices which will float out of the uh, salads will stay there which is so delicious to drink. So I'm going to put around two pieces here. Now I'm gonna add some fresh raw side parmesan on top and close it nicely. like this you can lay down open it on your grill party and add the marinade freshly on top the packs are ready you can pack it and we are ready to make a jump to the marinade now for the marinade I suggest to um, bring it in the jar separately as I said otherwise it will yeah destroy your whole bag and leak out of the packages four packages Give a good amount of uh, yeah olive oil, around 40 milliliters, like a double vodka shot. A pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper, chopped garlic. Close it, shake it nicely. <laughs> The marinade is ready. Now let's prepare the salad. I'm going to use two tomatoes. Cut 
them into good big pieces. Then one third of a big cucumber. Cut off the ends, it's already washed of course. gives a little bit of strong, crunchy, um, more spicy taste. Cut the onion into really small pieces so it's not too spicy. Onion, cucumber and tomato all have around 90% or even more water which is super great for the... Oh, my eyes burn. <laughs> for the hot season as a refreshing salad. Now half of the avocado, I wouldn't put more, otherwise it gets yet too creamy. Now the salad is ready. More than enough for four people and we're doing now the dressing. Now the dressing is super simple, not a lot to do. I'm again taking a small jar and adding the salad freshly before serving, otherwise it really gets mushy. So we need about 20 milliliters of it. Half of a lemon or let's say 10 milliliters. dressing is ready. I would suggest you go to your grill party, I go to my balcony and I'm starting with my grill. <laughs> Funny story, I bought frozen pizza <laughs> and uh, I forgot to put it in the freezer. Uh, so after two hours I realized that and um, this was already mushy and we are hungry so we're trying something here. <laughs> Let's open it and check if it's ready. Yes! That will be amazing. 